works in grade 11 when you first came here. And they were very bad. Because Your final results in metric. In mathematics, I got 93%. Yeah, my sister came to 89%. 89%? Yes. From 0 to 89%. <laughs> now, well done, well done. Sibonello, God knows do bear. Manager at Monaco Solutions and Standard Bank, Treasury and Capital Management Division. Today I'm with God knows Dube, our alumni from Dobsonville, who was with the program since 2010 until 2012. Good day, Mr. Dube. Oh, good day, Mr. Mabizela. Nice to see you after almost 10 years with you know the Kuklanong family, Promise family. Yes, definitely. I'm also very, very happy to see you after almost, it's not like really 10, but it's almost 12 years now. 12 years now. Yeah, 12 yeah, it's years been now. Long it's years. been yes. very long. Yeah, your story with, you know, Dobsonville Center as a promise learner. Okay, yes, Mr. Domsela. So I joined Kutlanong in 2011, grade 11. Okay. And then I did up to grade 12 metric to grade 12 Dobsonville Center in Soweto. Oh, it. okay. Yeah. How were your marks in grade 11 when you first and they were very bad because I remember when I went in there, like meds, right? It was just like I think forty-five yeah, percent. Yeah, forty-five yeah. percent. And your physical sciences? Okay. You didn't, you didn't even have physical sciences. <laughs> no, no, no. It was no, zero. No. Zero. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was zero yeah, at okay. that time. Yeah, because yeah, I only remember I only did a physics at Kutlanong Top Center Centre only. I couldn't do it at my school. You couldn't do it at your school. Yes. But yes. your final results in metric. How did you finish in mathematics and in physical sciences? Okay, in mathematics, I got 93%. Oh, right. congratulations. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And then your science? Yeah, my science, I came to 89%. 89%? Yes. From 0 to 89%. <laughs> No, well done, well done, you know. Thank you, I thank mean, you. you have students that are taught physical sciences from Monday to Friday, and uh, they were taught physical sciences from grade 10 up to grade 12, yes. but they still come back with 30%. Definitely. But you just got it from us, and not even your school, just to over weekends, and True. you got 90%. Well done, congratulations. Thank you, sir, yes. thank you, sir. And then after matric, what happened? So I went to the University of Cape Town, right? Okay. I went there, then I studied actuarial sciences for three years, but unfortunately I couldn't qualify to proceed after three years because my marks were not, you understand, getting up to the month that they required. Then I switched in 20, on my fourth year to Bachelor of Business Science, Finance and Accounting, okay. which is an honors degree. Okay. And then I graduated oh, like, with a Bachelor of Business Science. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then after your degree, your first degree, did you do your honors? Did you do your masters? So no, that bachelor of business science finance account is equivalent to an honors degree. It's a four-year degree. Yes, yes. So I didn't proceed. I that was my degree. Then I left. I started working that time. I just did went you study work. after your honors. No, no, no. Okay. I just straight. I went straight to work at first. Yeah. So I went to Deloitte. Okay. In 2018, <clears> right? <throat> I stayed there for one year in Cape Town. Okay. Then I just yeah one year there. Then I left after that, and then in 2019 I came back to Johannesburg. I did. I joined a company called Monaco Solutions. Okay. Before yeah. you went to just after your matric, you are one of the recipients from the Department of Education. Yes. Uh, what was it for? So remember, in when I did the trick, right? I got like six distinctions. I lost LO, oh. right? Yes, I lost <laughs> LO, and then I was in the top nineteen nationally in the country, top nineteen achievers. Excellent, excellent. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And then I met with Minister Angie Moteha, right? Yes. So all over <clears> the television, all over radio stations, mm -hmm. and yeah, it was overwhelming. But at the same time, yeah, I enjoyed myself and. I believe like Kutlano was behind all that because if I didn't have physics, obviously I was not going to qualify because remember I got six exactly in LO and when they are checking, comparing you at the department level, they don't include LO. I know, I know. Yeah, I yeah, know. so mine was just like, yeah, that was the achievement that I had. Excellent, excellent. Yes, yes. And then currently you are working for which company? 
Monaco Solutions. Okay, Monaco. what are you, what is it that you are doing there? So I'm currently a manager at Monaco Solutions. Excellent. I've been there for five. It's my sixth year there. Okay. I've been there since 2019 January. Okay. And yeah, it's a consulting firm. So we go our clients is all the big four banks of South Africa. So we get some consulting work, IT. Oh. Yeah, okay. analysis, uh, analytics, and all that other stuff. Oh, excellent. Babu Kotno, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we truly appreciate, you know, Escort Learning Center for the commitment, the work that you are doing and also, you know, for you and your committee to be able to take this leg of working alumni to a high level. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Robinson. It's a thank pleasure. You. Center for Math, Science and Technology, economic growth solution we need.